Well, well, well. Guess who's on this video of the 12 Days of Dumbass? I didn't have to do this, but... I mean, Rasmus left me no choice, because as of 12 hours ago, he replied in all these damn tweets. And I'll read the first one, which says, I've been silently watching responses because it's genuinely astounding how many people magically change to say I was 100% guilty. I'm sorry, I agree. When Tom's document was posted and just instantly flipped back, being educated on something isn't having the most popular opinion, y'all. <sighs> That's because Turkey Tom thought you had proof. Turns out he didn't. And Turkey Tom's been silent for a whole week now because of you. You brought this up when you world tweeted his tweet. But whatever, say I took the L one pyro minute. He thought it was gay to talk sexually to a 16 year old at 20. Say the reply was all good because he faced the allegations head on, quote unquote, faced the allegations head on, when he nearly lied to undercut them and tried downplaying me, them the entire time by saying it's just RP. Because it is role play. It is. He wasn't doing it to you in a sexual way. He was just obvious role play. Like damn, bro, you're saying I bet your cock is so hard from imagining that. Has no IRL connotations. And y'all are saying the RP wasn't that bad. He literally admitted to coming to our conversations and was talking about my dick while doing so. That was a joke. Even though it w even though that joke was a little bit distasteful, it was still a joke. He's not really gonna do that to you. so funny too because y'all will use arguments based on reality like ALC to justify Niall's actions yet completely ignore that sending porn to someone under 18 is illegal and he admitted to never doing that for years that is wrong he did not send porn to you Like, what? That's a poor argument. He didn't send porn to, you, porn to you at all. If he actually sent porn to you, then where is it? Why haven't you posted that proof? Hmm? Exactly. You don't have it because it's not there. But the best part about this is... His friend publicly implying the allegations are false when half of y'all were in a fall with him and one of his victims years ago told him to never do it again. LMAO, playing your audience is like a bill when, while, while, like a fellow, all while in, enabling his actions. We are not enabling his actions at all. If anything, he admitted what he did was wrong, and he did apologize to you. The only thing he, admit, he admitted was that he didn't ask for your age. That's the only problematic issue that is the main focus of this situation.
I know that like I've done I've nothing to stand for by cloud. If I were cloud chasing, then why wouldn't I just talk about the four million YouTuber I have in my DMs? How would saying Pyro rate me live rate with me when I was a kid give me any cloud? I'm ashamed of it. I would never want this as a claim to fame. Well, because you were cloud chasing. Because you... Because earlier last month, you brought up unsubstantiated proof that had no evidence to back up your claims. We knew it since day one, since you bring up your statement via Twitmonger. You and then you and then you brought up your unsubstantiated evidence, which isn't evidence at all. And the only evidence there is, once again, that he didn't ask for your age. That's the only issue. But take the ally if you get game ended. Rod, the only ally I have to take is that Pyro still hasn't apologized about lying in the same breath. He's sprinkled half truths in his vid and then lied about Knowing my age, that's malicious and it forfeits his apology in my eyes. Me including the anecdotal evidence led to the belief that Ivory lied about his age. That is never a claim I have made that he has done to me. I've only said that I did not know his age at 15, which in turn has caused more people to believe that I lied in my original statement. I just want to say though, this is not an excuse. It is entirely my responsibility to verify age. But this never escalated from two morons talking about inhaling very fast, and I never intended it to. There go, grooming. There's a message that was used of me basically having a breakdown that was put in Ivory's original post, saying pretty much how everyone's gonna find out and I have to keep looking over my shoulder, like my paranoia was through the roof. And this has been twisted, of course, to make it seem that I am guilty for grooming a 15 year old. I think it's quite obvious what like I'm actually worried about. I didn't want the public to find out that I was a complete degenerate and into this like very roleplay shit. Anyone would be embarrassed by that. I haven't had any conversations remotely resembling this for the past three years. But of course, I still did and still kind of do hate myself for it. That being said, over the last couple weeks, I've learned to embrace it because <laughs> that's all I can do now. Now, this is. Furthermore, I was simply didn't lie. He definitely actually said that he did not know your age. If you watched the entire video of Ivory Rasmus, then you would have understand, but you didn't. You didn't watch the entire video, and you didn't put all the information you bring together to understand the key parts of it. And about the apology part. Now, I do want to directly say something to Ivory, and apologize to him, and to anyone else that I did the furry roleplay garbage with. What seemed consensual and reciprocal may very well not have been. It's not my place to decide. It happened. It was my responsibility to verify age, and I never did, and I am sorry for that. You shouldn't have been put in that situation, and it was stupid of me to message people about this furry stuff without taking into account the influence of my platform. Especially considering how sexual the tone of these messages were. It wasn't until later where I decided this was an issue and decided to stop entirely. I hope you can understand the.
I hope you can understand the frustration in my original post, but I shouldn't have attacked you, only apologized and defended myself. Now, really good closing note here for anyone that is still confused to any degree. If your accusation is solely parasynical is a complete degenerate and should have not had these conversations with someone that he didn't realize was 15, you win. I can't dispute that. But if you've either insinuated, contributed, or directly called me a pedophile who groomed someone knowing that they were 15, that is a completely false claim. I've said my piece, I've admitted fault, and apologized to the best of my ability. I just want to move on from this. I want it to end. Thank you for watching, and hopefully this gives you a more widened view on the situation. And then Ivory goes on to say, but I think I'm done with this. I literally tried whistleblowing system systematic systemic protection of a predator and their kid audiences. Dumb fuck YouTube friends and everyone in between are still being manipulated by them. He's not a groomer and he's not a predator. You are Ivory Rasmus have uh, done a very terrible thing, and uh, you know what, before this video ends, I'm gonna have the big man himself to come after you, because you need to be repent by the one who's gonna give you call this year, because you don't deserve presents. You don't. Oh, oh, oh. What do we have here? A guy who got clout? Hmm. I forget this. Ah. He used to be a good child when he was younger. I wonder what happened to him. Ah. Looks like he's been planning. Make false accusations against somebody. I will not name, but I know who he is, and I believe that he didn't do anything wrong. But I agree. Here's my total advice to you. After making all those. Baseless claims. About Carter Cynical. Maybe it's time for you to delete those tweets or delete your account in general. If you don't wanna. Like. Get hate from the internet forever. I suggest you delete your entire Twitter account, Ivory Rasmus, because what you're doing is slander. And Santa Claus doesn't like people who slander innocent people. He barely brought up any evidence since November. He never apologized for not using the definition for grooming correctly. I can't trust somebody who used to be a good boy back in the day. And then goes on a on a rant. All throughout the month. And then brought up more baseless claims. Throughout the month of November prior to making a statement, a false statement, which had no proof, in October, the day before Halloween. You are agree, Erasmus. Get a call in your stocking. I'm sorry, pal. So, what's the moral of the story here? Well, the moral of the story is, one, do not 
bring out baseless, baseless claims when you're making a statement of what happened to you. Two, make sure your claims are actually proven with actual evidence to see on social media. Three, make sure that evidence actually has everything to back up of what you're saying. And four, don't go on a rant because you can't admit that you don't have evidence. And then try to frame Pyrocynical or anyone else for that matter. And five. Don't do it for cloud because the likes you you're getting is clout. The retweets you're getting is clout. Don't try to twist a narrative unless you actually have substantiated evidence to prove. But you don't have any substantiated evidence. You have unsubstantiated evidence that doesn't prove any of your claims. And I have to agree with Santa Claus here, Ivory. It's best that you delete yourself from the internet in general. So delete your Twitter, delete your YouTube channel, and if you have an Instagram, which you probably do, please delete that also. Because you don't deserve to have any social medias or YouTube channel when you're going to continuously make these false claims. Please. Do it for your own good. Take yourself off the internet, and you won't have to deal with this anymore. Trust me, it's for the better. <laughs>